it's a good idea, but I don't think it's been implemented properly. You can't start demanding quotas at like so the national level. It's gonna start with the Vodacom Cup, the Cray Cup, the, the Super Fourteens and then I mean in a country where 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 black people the majority. And it's sad to see, I mean the, in the Super Fourteen only a handful of players are players of colour. So you're comparing people who get paid yeah. and people who just play for level again. It makes a huge difference. Like it does, it does, it does, it does. It's, when you sign bonuses and stuff like that, you know, you, sometimes even if you had a bad nickel, you push because you want to get this and this and that, you know? So whereas club, it's like a guy who works up from work, he just plays for the love of it. And you know, he just plays with pure passion. I'd say as far as structures go, it's concerned, it's, it's, it's what a club is actually more structured. And uh, even the intensity is a little higher than club, I'd say. You gotta be focused on the whole 14 minutes because you slip up as a trap. Especially when it comes to quarter semis, you know, you slip on the out. You gotta be like eyes wide open. So, yeah. I'd say Wellington was, was, was amazing, it was incredible. Uh, but Hong Kong, big hype, but it didn't live up, with my, my view, didn't live up to the hype. Yeah? The bar was something good. George, <laughs> that's alright. <laughs> I'm just me, I'm a bowler with me, I'm, I'm, I'm just a guy that plays rugby and it's a job and I enjoy doing it.